Hello everyone, this is Catherine from Sack Giant and today I will share with you on how to create a product in Unicard Store and some useful apps. Firstly, go to the product page and add product here. I have got some of the details preset. Title is the name of the product. You can have a combination of brand plus model plus type plus attributes such as color, size and etc. Then, insert a unique SKU as your product code. Unicat and marketplaces identify the product with their unique SKU. Therefore, please make sure that the SKU is the same in Unicat and all of the marketplaces. Then, insert price and description. Provide an informative description, such as the specification of the product, a YouTube video of using your product, so that your customers can relate to or even warranty information to convince customers to buy. If you would like to add images to your product description, you will need to go to the image tab on top here. Product images are the first thing that captures your customers' attention. These are the recommendation. Provide 2 to 8 images with different angle of the product. Click here to choose a file and upload all the images you want to display for the product including description images and variant images. The first image is the main product image. You can just sort their sequence by drag and drop the image. Tick hide image option to hide the image from product thumbnail and if you want the image to be displayed in the product description, click add here. After you add the images into the description, it is now showing here. Moving on, highlight and what's in the box are the mandatory fields for Lazada Sync. Highlight is the selling point of the product. Write a minimum of 3 bullet points. Click on the pencil icon here to edit it. Highlight all the points and click here to add bullet points. What's in the box is the list of items that your customer will receive upon purchasing this product. Moving on to inventory and variants. I would suggest remain track inventory enabled in order to deduct stock automatically when an order is received. Insert your inventory here. Enable this if the product has variant. Fill in the variant name and variant value. If you have more than one option, click on this plus button to add. Once you are done, click on generate and fill in the quantity for each variant. Then click generate SKU. You can insert an image for each of the variants to display on web store. Then click done. Next, move on to shipping. Insert the weight and dimension of the package in order for the system to calculate the shipping fee. They are also the mandatory field for marketplacing. Now, next go to the column on your right. Keep the status enabled if you want to sell on your web store. Scroll down to grouping. You can add the category here and rename it. You can also drag it to one of the category and make it as a subcategory. Highlight the category to apply for this product. To have more than one category for this product, hold Ctrl on your keyboard and click on the category. Setting up for a brand is almost the same as setting up a category, but it allows to assign one brand to a product. Collection are recommended to group products for other purposes such as festival products and promotional products. It needs to add collection first at the product page, more, select collection. Moving on to special and discount. Here is where you can create promotion and discount for your product. We have customer group special pricing and bulk discount pricing. Bear in mind that you can only activate one type of discount at a time. To set up special pricing, select customer group which entitle for the special price. Remain default if you only have one customer group, then enter special price for the product. Select date start and date end where the offer is valid. Leave it blank if there is no deadline for promotion. Lastly, 
Click Add button to generate. Next, to set up for bulk discount pricing, similar to special price, select a customer group, enter quantity required to buy to entitle for this price, enter price for bulk purchase which is the price for one unit after discount. Then, fill in the dates if necessary and add. Lastly, click save button on top right and clear cache. You may sync to marketplaces by clicking here and click here to preview the product. This is the product display with customer group special pricing. And this is the product display for bulk discount pricing. To have all your product to be sold on web store, you will need to go to your product page, select product and click on bulk action to enable products. Now, I will share with you useful web store apps to increase your product's conversion rate. These are the few apps that can be used. And you can also have a look at the product here. That's it! This is the end of our how to create a product tutorial. Thanks for watching this. If you have further inquiry, feel free to refer to our knowledge base at support.sitejayan.my or Contact us at live chat or email to support at sitejoyan.my. Goodbye and have a great day.